Hello. I just did a bit of research and now I am making this video to cover what is BPA, should you worry about it, and if you want to be as safe as possible, what can you do? What actionable steps can you take to, you know, reduce injury from BPA or whatever? So, what is BPA? Well, BPA stands for bisphenol A. It's an industrial chemical that has been used to make certain plastics and resins since the 1950s. And, you know, it is a common epoxy resin lining for metal food cans. So, they're... So you have a food can and the lining kind of forms like a barrier between the metal and the food and this helps to create a seal okay so why do you need the seal well the seal prevents corrosion and thus keeps the food safe from bacterial contamination and metallic taste so obviously that seal created using the BPA is really important, but BPA is, there's been research and it, the research has shown that BPA is very clearly not good for your health. The, was it the FDA? Yeah, the FDA says that at safe level or er, at very low levels bpa is fine but are you going to trust some huge corporation they probably have monetary interests involved like it, it can get pretty complex but basically you have to take their word on that and there's research into it but even at low levels you know that low levels of a thing can com compound over time and become an issue. That's pretty much like everything in life. So BPA at big levels is for sure dangerous. So it's probably best to just like get, get away from it as much as possible. So basically I think there was a picture here that explained why it's dangerous. Yes, BPA is linked to breast cancer, infertility, early puberty, interesting, childhood neurological disorders. So yeah, there's a lot of research into why it's bad and the way it actually, uh, the way that it humans consume it is usually through canned foods so there's that metal lining and the bpa actually comes from the metal lining and seeps into the food inside of the can and apparently there's some plastic bottles that have the same issue but instead of a metal lining i guess it's in like the lid or the plastic or something i'm not totally sure but yes you it gets into the food or the liquid and then it you consume it and it is very clearly bad. So some people have been noticing this and companies are working for making alternatives. However, right now, the alternatives are just as bad. And not only that, but they don't have to put what the alternatives are on a label. So they could be putting some toxic thing and you wouldn't even know because they don't have to label it. So it's like BPA is harmful, but it's possible but that the alternatives are even worse and they don't need to say it. So even with just a little bit of research, it's obvious that BPA is bad. You should avoid it at all. Like if you can, you should avoid it. And so I kind of came up with some actions to avoid it and other harmful toxins from cans. So pretty much whenever possible, you can substitute canned food for fresh, frozen, or dried food. And I don't know much about dried food. 
I think that takes like some preparation in order to make that work. But you can always get fresh food. Of course that's bad because fresh food goes bad pretty quickly. However, frozen food seems like the best. Um, Cause you, you can, frozen food keeps for a long time. So I'm gonna probably start looking into frozen food quite a bit. Uh, if a product isn't labeled BPA free, keep in mind that some, but not all, plastics marked with recycle code 3 or 7 may contain BPA. So pretty much this is just saying that you need to read the labels on everything you're buying. It'll say if it's BPA free or not. And then if it doesn't say it, you can, if it says recycle code 3 or 7, then it's like, uh, it may contain BPA. You should probably be careful about that. And then I read a blog and blogger pretty much said there's this thing called oleoresinous enamel and oleoresinous en enamel is apparently a healthier alternative. But I did a little bit of research on that and I didn't really see any evidence saying that it was better than just regular canned BPA uh, linings. So right now I think this is pretty simple just when you're going out throughout when you're going throughout your daily life just be careful of BPA try to avoid canned foods if that's possible if you are like me and eat canned foods almost daily maybe stop and try to eat it like once a week or if you can cut it out totally because the less BPA the better and that's about it that I found during my research. If you found this interesting or you learned something, feel free to like and subscribe and I will see you next time.